Hello, this is a quick introduction to health issues and it's perfect for putting onto a flash or revision card. Uh, I like to use green for biology and A6 seems to be about the right size. So we're talking about the idea of health and the first thing, probably the best thing to do first actually is to define what we mean by health. So if we're talking about someone in good health, we're talking about the state of physical and mental well-being physical and mental well-being and there are different factors that can affect health the first one is obviously something like disease so if somebody has a disease that's going to impact their health so diseases affect health and we tend to group them into two main kinds the first kind or the first group is what we call communicable diseases communicable and that means these are diseases that can be caught and these are caused by microorganisms called pathogens Pathogens is a key word and it means a microorganism or a microbe that can cause a disease or that causes a disease. Not all microbes cause disease, but the ones that do are called pathogens. And some simple examples of those are flu, HIV and measles. I'm sure you can think of a lot more yourself. And then we have what we call non-communicable diseases. These are diseases that are not caused by microbes and they cannot be caught by someone. So examples for the of these are something like heart disease. You can't catch heart disease by standing next to someone who has it. Uh, cancer. Uh, remember, mental well-being is also important. So depression is a non-communicable disease. And something like diabetes is another example. Other factors impact health as well. And these are things like diet, stress and lifestyle. Lifestyle being something like whether you smoke or not. There's also one more point that we need to make, and that's the fact that some diseases can interact with each other or interact with other diseases. One example would be that if you had a disease of the immune system, and one common example of that is HIV, but if you had a disease of the immune system, that's going to make you more likely to catch other diseases that are caused by microbes because your immune system has been weakened. So that's an example of diseases interacting. There's another example where we have viruses that can actually cause cancer because they interfere with the DNA of the body. But diseases can interact with each other. So just highlighting a few of the key parts there of this uh, short introduction. And that's about all. If you had done a revision card, it might look a little something like this. There you go. And that's about all. This was a short introduction to the idea of health. We're going to look at it in a bit more detail in upcoming videos.